I want to introduce our producer, you know, Walter Nicklock. CJ. And we want to get Mr. CJ involved for uh, two minutes. Yes. We have, so uh, we have a lot of testimonies and I, I got some really how to, harrowing is the best way to put it, but thank God there was a good ending yes. of you and this attack. Tell us about it. Ah, yes. Without too much gory stuff. Right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, well, uh, in October, the middle of October, I um, had an unfortunate situation where um, I was traveling from studio to go home at the time and um, the taxi that I went into it was a PH vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, those the three guys in the taxi, they you know they decided to, that they wanted to rob me at that point. Mm -hmm. So you know they carried me in a particular place in Savannah, and you know they they and started to beat me. the whole taxi. Well, the driver was in on it. Wow. It was the driver and two other guys in the car. So they they basically just <coughs> carried me into a place in Savannah, and um, you know one of them had a cutlass. And you know the other guy had a, a like a horsewhip thing, and you know I got you know beaten and bruised and stuff. Um, I also got slashed with the cutlass on my fingers. The fingers, four the, the fingers. The area right that hand. you need to yeah. use for your ministry. Yeah, the four fingers on my right hand. I got slashed there, and two fingers on my left hand, and on the palm as well. So trying to defend myself. Of now, course, yeah. Trying to defend myself. That's where I got the slashes. In the midst of that situation, I remember saying, Lord Jesus, help me. Mm -hmm. And trying to run away from the guys. Um, it's only after I said that, uh, then I realized that they stopped following me. Because where it was, it was in this dark place where, you know, had no lights or anything. And it was just mud and grass and all kind of things. So without making the story too long, I, I just... <coughs> After I said that, Lord Jesus helped me, and trying to run away, that's when I realized they stopped following. Mm. And they just got back in the car, they took everything wow. I had, they got back in the car and they drove off. So, I thank God that since that happened, the following day, I was in the hospital, did surgery. Um, I had my two hands in casts mm -hmm. from my fingers all the way up to my elbow because the doctors had to do surgery the way that they did and they had wires on my fingers so I was like, a, mm -hmm. I was like, you know. Like Frankenstein. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, through all, all that, mm -hmm. within the remarkable thing about it now, this is the testimony part, but the remarkable thing is that within two weeks and the doctors were checking back my hands to see how it was you know healing up they were shocked they were shocked when they pulled off the cast and they was like how this man healing up so quick how these fingers healing up so fast you know and i know that it's only god and god alone yes, yes. I, I mean like two weeks after such a dramatic thing happened that i was able to get back pretty good mobility in my fingers to start back playing um, the last series of songs, maybe last, maybe five, four or five songs on Keston's album were done after this incident happened. Yes, I am. Wow. You understand? So, I thank God for that. I mean, um, fingers are pretty much okay now, yeah. um, for the most part. You should I not tell another story? I'm looking at no. your hands and I'm, that's the thing. <laughs> you look at it now. I'm looking at this guy's hands. I don't yeah. see any evidence. Yes. Wow. Yeah. God, did a, God does a mighty job at keeping his children. So that's the testimony for me. I thank God for that. Could have been worse. I thank God he had a plan for me. Still here. So that, yeah, that was an amazing experience. Or did his own surgery? Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. You, you have a powerful testimony there. Wow. Yeah. I mean, sadly, it had happened like that, but it, you know. Well, I mean, at the same time, I mean, there's a purpose for everything, that's right. I believe. So I just thank God that at the end of the day, I'm right back to doing what I was called to do. Right. So whatever the enemy had planned, go mm -hmm. turn it around for something good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's protection. Yeah, man. Yeah.